Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to another first 15 minutes here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're looking at Wolfenstein The New Order in commemoration of Doom coming out very soon on PC and on the consoles and everywhere. I wanted to take a look at another one of id Software's single player games because a lot of people have been focusing on the really negative impacts of the Doom multiplayer, which to be honest, in my opinion, I've actually enjoyed the hell out of in my time to get to play it. But this is what we kind of need to be thinking about. We need to be thinking about the fact that id Software have pulled off a really, really good single player campaign before with their old properties, specifically Wolfenstein. They did an amazing job here on the New Order. It's, of course, exactly like we expected a Doom style game to be. If we can I play daddy or hurt me plenty. That's <laughs> that's what the, our expectation of difficulty in these games are and in the specifically the single player campaign. But they went over and above. Well, Bethesda went over and above with the um, the detail uh, of the world and the actual plotting of Wolfenstein over especially its original context. The original game that Wolfenstein 3D was. It was uh, the, the precursor to Doom. It actually had a lot of just like running from level to level to kill everything. This has got a, a lot of running and gunning, of course, as well, but it feels much more uh, like a narrative single player campaign in the vein of uh, Half Life or um, I'm trying to think of other campaigns that really have had a really strong narrative from Point Go. The opening intro to this is gorgeous. It's a massive, it's. It's air battles over the top of Germany in World War Two. I mean, we're set right into the context of this Wolfenstein, and um, it's weird that we we get start off like this. It's doing it's the early kind of like Duke Nukem esque kind of thing where you have to actually go and open a bunch of things to kind of like teach you your basic controls. But we do do get into the action reasonably quickly. But we do get to see the wonderful detail that this world has in a small compact space which is a great idea I, I imagine we're going to do something similar like this in doom whenever it gets fully released on the single player I, there has to be a single player demo coming out at some point soon especially with the um reactions people have had to the multiplayer demo the the lack of personification the um the the, the combat being complained about i think it's going to play into the fact that those control methods work better for the story campaign and then I've just been translated across to the multiplayer, which means that the multiplayer is is secondary to the storyline. Like people are complaining that it's not an arena shooter, which isn't what Doom was. Doom wasn't, wasn't an arena shooter. It was a single player game whenever it started off. It's obvious that the game itself had gone through a lot of iterations and people are comparing it closer to Quake than it would be to Doom, which is, uh, I'm, I think majorly missing the point. Well, in the case with Wolfenstein, this is much more than we expected it ever to be, really, just from its opening <laughs> intro again. And of course, I don't do too well in this because even good players can die sometimes. The The world of this game is so well rounded. I mean, even in the bits that I'm showing in this first 15 kind of a, a minutes of uh, exposition, I suppose, and explanation for the 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 problems with doom the this this actually i'm not showing i'm not going to show what happens after the first hour or so of the game because i'm really getting into it and i want to actually maybe continue this on as a let's play series to go through the entirety of wolfenstein and discover it as everybody else discovers it or as anybody else would discover it through the gameplay the look at this world like a, even its little skyboxes and stuff, like it's encouraging you to look around. I want to see that. I want to be on Phobos doing stuff like this. I want to be in Phobos just looking out windows going like, wow, that is a proper bizarre storm or hell storm. Um, I imagine that the lava's not going to be spent in hell. It's going to be back and forth between it. Turret game. Like even, even the fact that a turret at the very, very beginning of the game isn't frustrating because you're kind of like feeling involved in the moment. You've actually been set up to do this turret, turret attack defense. It's it's kind of scheduled and set up right. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm letting a lot of things slide whenever I'm playing through Wolfenstein because of it. Uh, because of its history and how much value I have for it. software as a, a 
progenitor of most of my gaming experiences on a PC platform. Now, because we've all gone and moved on and time has changed and gaming has changed, these kind of games are appearing on things that aren't PC anymore, so we have to kind of like take that into development and into, into context. So a lot of people's complaints on PC about it becoming too consoleified. You gotta fill the other markets, guys. You gotta actually accept that there is people who are playing them on both, and they're near the two shall meet. But it's not corrupting your game. It's not like Doom is the only FPS that's going to come out this year. Uh, maybe a lineage title for PC. But did anybody complain about Wolfenstein? Did anybody complain about this when it came out because it was a solely single-player experience? I don't think so. I don't think anybody really cared that much whenever this came out as a very, very console-esque first-person experience with sprint buttons and weapon changes over and, like, and limited ammo. They, they, it, and chest high cover. There's actually a lot of chest high cover in this game in a lot of ways. You know what? I, I, I want, I'm just going to essentially say PC gamers are calling bullshit for no apparent reason because they can and want to whine. Not because the game is bad. Because I enjoyed the fuck out of Doom multiplayer. And I'm looking forward to playing it whenever the full game comes out. And I'm really looking forward to playing the single player mode. To see if it actually kind of lives up to what they did with Wolfenstein. Just because it was... Um, does everybody know? Everybody know why the New, the new Order was actually interesting? The, the, the whole point is that Germany and the Nazis and Death's Head won. Like, they, you end up getting horribly mild in a bunch of attacks and having to live off a few years inside a hospital slowly recovering and getting your ability to move back and during that time everything's gone to shit there's little audio cues that were used in the advertisements and in uh, materials in the game where you're hearing like popular songs that you would have heard uh, instead of the Beatles is Das Beatles uh, or Das Beatles uh, the, the music of the world everything is kind of like taking that little twist of who was the winner I love it. I love that idea. And it, it's just the idea that I have to go back and undo it. I, oh my God, I, I, I know I'm doing 15 minutes here, but I am almost feel like I'm running out of steam for the gushing that I can have for this because it, it's, it speaks for itself just looking at it. You know, even these little scenes now where you're actually just kind of moving around the cockpit just watching shit happen, it all leads into what the next set piece the next set piece the next set piece and i want to see that kind of pacing for what's going to happen in doom we've already seen in bits and pieces of footage how you open a door and how you have to find objects in doom it was um i think uh, in the i think in the first kind of like story trailer that it showed was the, the your marine your main character essentially tracking a dead body or do a blood trail around the place so you find the head of the person who has been mauled apart and <laughs> then tear their head off or tear their eyeball out to then go and use it for a retinal scan afterwards like that's that's the visceralness that i'm kind of looking forward to seeing and the their practical <laughs> practical problem solving rather than actually having to like scan the eyeball and make a duplicate of it no you just take the goddamn eyeball it does the job do your simon phoenix impression <laughs> and do that. They sent you escape from the prison like it was in demolition, man. Because you know what? I got. I'm. I'm. Every single little set piece, from the glory kills to the uh, the monster takedowns, the uh, the world that we've seen from the passing through the portal into hell. Yeah, I can see what, the parallels to what was going on here. In Wolfenstein going on in that and you know what I honestly can't wait I can't wait for it to crash land right down into our faces and everybody to kind of like see something see something much more positive than what they've actually seen in the multiplayer beta because it's not an arena fighter it's something different and it's ta it's tacked on multiplayer to a really good storyline
Not me. I'm here to see an old friend and settle a score. Turn this thing around. What's your status? Ah, uh, Bob Gordon. Well, we've got the skitters and bad ways over here. Trapped inside an aircraft well, some kind of armored hell beast is trying to fucking eat us. No joke. The same problem here. Shacked up inside dead wreckage. Is that you over there? The private wires flash your lights. The Blasco, can you see the light? Wait, turn off the light, turn it off. Yes, sir. I see you. What can I do for you? We can't get to it from our position. Not that they're fucking trapped in here. But if you can access a cockpit turret on this here aircraft, you might be able to kill the beast. Regular small arms sure don't work for bug at all. Hey, perhaps you can swim here. Just keep your head down below the surface. You should be all right. Good plan, Fergus. Coming to you. Listen up. There's a high-powered machine gun nest in those trenches over there. We can't advance the unit without being slaughtered. So, I want you to make your way over into those trenches and take the nest out. Just run as fast as you possibly bloody can straight up the middle. We'll lay down cover fire from here. Got it. Ah, I'll put this on. I'll radio updates from our position. Right, lads. Be ready to lay down suppressor fire. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys all in the next video. So come back to the channel. Love, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.